Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I'm making a video. I'm going to be doing a thousand round review right here on the Rough Rider 22 long rifle. So let's get into it. Um, first off, I'm going to show you all the ammo I was running through it. I ran some uh, Winchester Super X, some of this Winchester Super X uh, Power Points, kind of like hunting ammo. If you wish to hunt with this thing, you could do it. Um, some of this stuff, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but whatever. Uh, what else? Also, some of this American Eagle. I didn't shoot just 50 rounds of American Eagle. I got about 250 rounds, close to 300 rounds of this American Eagle, but I'm just showing you all this one box. Um, but yeah, that's all the ammo I've run through this. Um, I want to tell you all what I think about it after a thousand rounds. Uh, any pros or cons or anything like that. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to start off with a few cons. A uh, con I noticed with this gun is, is some of the screws after, you know, about five, six hundred rounds did start backing out. Like this screw, let's see if I can show y'all. This screw, I don't know if y'all can see that. This screw right here holding in that, that was like the back out as you can see right now. The cover for the ejector. Uh, this screw right here. That one's kind of wanting to back out, but those those are the only two that I was really wanting to back out. Um, let me show y'all right here. These right here are holding in the trigger and the body frame uh, on the body here. Those haven't really backed out any at all. But I did notice after that certain amount of rounds that those did want to back out a little bit. Um, but I mean, other than that, uh, all all thousand rounds I've ran through it, um, they they worked fine. This thing worked fine. The only thing I had a problem with was. Uh, some of this ammo right here some of this winchester super x uh, it's good ammo and, and plus they don't really have nothing to do with the gun but i noticed some of these rounds were duds they they sounded a little weird and they didn't have full power something's up with them but i think that's more on winchester's side more than it is anything else um the tr uh something about it when i first got it when i first got this gun out of the box it was dry completely dry i ran like the first five six hundred rounds i ran this gun completely with no oil straight out of the box it didn't come with any oil um i noticed a lot of things were pretty stiff out of the box the hammer the hammer was pretty stiff out of the box and this is empty i'll kind of show y'all i don't know if y'all can see that I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it is empty. But um, the cylinder was a little stiff and the hammer, but that, that broke in about a, after about a thousand rounds. I mean, I mean, it works pretty well. Um, it, it's it's uh, eased up a lot. And it plus, it also has some stuff to do with, they came with absolutely no oil from the factory whatsoever. Um, but at about five, 600 rounds, I noticed, especially the cylinder was getting real sticky and I had to do work with the ejection rod a couple times to get bullets to come out because they were sticking so i eventually went and cleaned it up after that uh, but he still would have kept running don't get me wrong it would have kept going out of the box it's a pretty good little pistol but the only the problem that my bad what would you have to do to fix these little screws is just go ahead and back them out get you some blue loctite and just tighten them back down with blue loctite that's what i'm going to do here in a day or two and uh, i'm going to order me some blue loctite because i'm out and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. And uh, like I said, just this bottom one and the uh, ejection rod cover here, those are really the only two that we're wanting to back out. The, all the rest of them, you know, those aren't even super, super important. Of course, you don't want them backing out anyway. Um, but those that's really the only problem I've had with this gun. I mean, it's ran great. It's run all this ammo. Like I said, right here, I put this Winchester PowerPoint I ran about 250 rounds of this American Eagle here. Of course, this is a 500 round, a Gila, a Gila. I don't even know how the hell to pronounce this. I'm gonna be honest, 500 rounds of that. Only 100 rounds of this uh, Super X here. Uh, and a few other little rounds too that I don't have the box to. But um, it ran everything. It ran everything just fine. Like, like I said, except for the Winchester Super X here. But like I said, I think that was more the ammo and not the gun itself. Um, this gun works just like any other. It's a, a single action, so half cock it, two clicks. You'll be able to click the cylinder, bring it all the way back. You're ready to fire. Um, it does have this little safety on it. I know it's kind of hard for y'all to see this stuff, but it has this. If y'all can see that right there, it has that right there. If you pull that, if you push it up like that, 
you'll see I don't know if y'all can see that down in there but it has this it puts a little bar in it maybe y'all can see if I kind of see how it puts that little bar in it when you close it you see there's a little gap right there it don't it doesn't let it touch the firing pin uh, which is a pretty cool little feature it, it you know it's not authentic I guess if you're into authenticity but you know at the end of the day it is just a little 22 and it's only 150 bucks uh, this one's the six inch version with the pearl the gray pearl grips which I really like these grips the grips feel like decent quality uh, the grips don't feel too bad at all that you can they fit pretty well in the hand I have you know average size hands they're not too big and they're re not really that small and uh, they seem to really fit in my hand well the only thing I felt weird about this revolver is the hammer the hammer is a little small and I'm used to uh, you know bigger handles I'll show you all here like with this right here this is my uh, this is my Colt single action replica made by Uberti, the 1873 Cattleman. And you can see it's a, a normal size. And when I pick this gun up compared to the Rough Rider, uh, this thing feels, it feels totally different. After putting a thousand rounds in this, this is chambered in 357. And you know, this one works the same way, uh, but the hammer feels really weird. Now that I hold it, it feels really big. Uh, it is a smaller revolver. It is a smaller revolver, um, you know, of course, it's 22, but I mean, really, man, for the money, I, you know, I'm not going to do a super, super long review. I'm just going to tell you all what, what the real reasons are with this, but for the money, for 150 bucks, and really just get some Loctite on a few of these little screws that I told you all about, the one on the bottom here, and the, uh, the little ejection rod cover here. I mean, for 150 bucks, it's a good little gun, man. It really is. It's a good little plinker. What I wouldn't really, you know, it's not a gun you would really carry on your hip for, you know, it's not something you would protect your life with. I mean, which at the end of the day, you really could. If it came down to it, you could defend yourself with this. It's proven itself to be quite reliable. I've not had a single hiccup. It hasn't, the cylinder hasn't jammed in any type of way. It's cycled all these different types of ammos that I ran through from different companies, cheap and expensive ammo. Um, I mean, it's a pretty good little gun. I mean, for 150 bucks, you can't beat it, okay? I mean, it's, you know, you know, in the quality, it's got some good weight to it. Like, when I first picked it up out of the box, I was like, I was surprised to see how, uh, to feel the weight of it. It feels like, it feels like the gun I just picked up there, the Colt replica made by Uberti. Of course, it's not as high quality metal and materials, but it feels quality. It really does. It doesn't feel like I'm picking up a BB gun or something like that, you know, like some 22s are. It feels like I'm picking up a real gun, and it feels like I'm firing a real gun. It's a good little pistol for 150 bucks. You know, you could hunt with it. You know, it's got uh, traditional sights though, like uh, traditional single action sights. You see right here, it's just got a, it's got the groove, and then the the front post here. Uh, traditional single action sights. So not nothing too special. They're not adjustable. And I did notice that this particular one shoots down and a little bit to the right. Um, I did notice that. I would show you all the target, but I ended up leaving the target outside and it got all wet and nasty and it's pretty much ruined. <laughs> and it got all ripped and everything. So, but the, this thing is pretty accurate to an extent. You know, like I said, it does shoot a little bit up and to the right or down and to the right, I mean. And, uh, but you know that that comes with these a lot of these old single actions of course this one ain't old but single actions in general with these little groove sights they usually they're not right on of course you can take a file and you can file these sights and pin them you know correctly i'm sorry the camera keeps bouncing I, I i'm sorry y'all if y'all can see that but um uh that's just a typical thing with these that's something you're gonna get with these types of single actions you just can't you know you can't avoid it really but like i said if you can take the time you can file down the front sight picture you can't really uh some front sight the front sight post you know you can't really do nothing about the groove but you know there, there's not too many complaints on this thing it's a pretty good little pistol i ain't got nothing to complain about too much for 150 bucks it's a good pistol just to take to the range take to the backyard maybe take care of some squirrels or snakes or you know whatever you'd like to use it for 
Um, and it's fun. That, that's the whole thing about it. It's fun. Ch of course, chambered in 22 long rifle. Super cheap to shoot. It's a good little thing just to take in your backyard, you know, if you live in a remote area or take to the range. And just have a good time with it. If you want my opinion, or obviously too because you're watching the video. But uh, I say go for it. For 150 bucks, it's not a bad deal. It's going to give you a whole lot of fun. Uh, most definitely $150 worth of fun. You know, if, I, if you're really on the fence about it, I say go for it. It's a great little pistol. But with that on the side, I, I, I'd like to say I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate it if you would drop a subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys have a blessed day.